first fish of the day. Whoops! What do we got here? About 15 inches. Fish number two, about 14 and a half inches. Nice little blue cat. Looking for something a little bit bigger, but. Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. So, um, I'm out on the big boat today. Uh, as you can see, um, it has been raining on and off. So I've got the camera back up under the canopy here. So, probably not gonna get the best shots. I've got my chest camera on, so I'll hopefully get some shots of that. Um, you know, the goal today was to beat this front. There's a front coming in later this afternoon, pressure's dropping, uh, and similar to the last video, I'm, I'm experimenting. Last trip was what happens under super high pressure, now I'm going for what happens under super low pressure. Um, I have set up in a shallow spot here, casting out um, quite broad, I mean anywhere from two and a half feet, I've got five feet out in front of me, and then coming back shallow again. Um, a couple fish that I've caught, I caught one out here in the deeper part, um, one over here in the shallower part. So they're just, I'm just trying to get them running along this bank right here, um, you know, as the storm's coming in. So it certainly hasn't been hot action. Um, also continuing the experiments with, uh, with hook sizes. So um, I have, um, I've brought some hooks out here. I've been using um, the octopus circle hooks from Gamagatsu. So, um, you know, my last trip on the kayak, I was playing with smaller hooks. The four aughts seemed to be good, and I think I could have got away with three aughts as well. And of course, the, the the trick is always you want something that'll catch big fish, but also not just uh, you know I'm out here to catch fish. So if I hook into a big one, I want to be able to catch him, but also don't want to miss a bunch of little bites. Um, so what I've done today is I've got some different hooks. I've got some double action circle hooks um, that are a little bit different, and I'll show I'll show the difference here in a bit. I'll get a couple of them out, uh, you know, but those, those octopus circle hooks, you know, they are really like circles and then come back with that point inside. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to try these double action hooks, which I'll show you the difference. They're just a little bit more uh, of an angle when they come down and I'm going to see if that will help me, um, uh, again, just hook up into some, some bigger fish, maybe, maybe get a bigger aught hook, a you know, five aught for example, but still be able to catch the smaller fish. Um, Again, it's all about trying to find the balance. So I've got three, four, and five out of those double actions, and I think I have really, really big ones uh, in my tackle box under the console here. So um, so far, um, I've got I think uh, one is the uh, I think a three out octopus circle caught a fish and a good hook set, and then one of those smaller double actions caught a fish. Um, so and again, the smaller hook size seems to be what's working for me right now. Um, and you know, that's what I'm going to continue to do. So I may move again. We're going to see. It's it's a little before noon. The front's supposed to come in. Um, it's gone from anywhere from four to eight, depending on how you look at it. It keeps moving back. So um, I'm going to stay out here until I just can't stand it anymore. Or the wind gets too bad, um, and that's going to be it. Hopefully, um, we'll catch more than just the two that I've got so far, and I'll have something to uh, put into a video. So. Um, hopefully we get to chat at you a little bit more. All right, it's time to move. Um, I had six rods in the water, not not including the, the dip bait that I had. Um, five of the six had no bait, so um, I'm sitting here fishing with bear hooks. No wonder I'm not getting any bites. But this wind is starting to pick up, uh, and it's hitting me broadside. Uh, my power poles are, are struggling now, so I'm gonna just hit around this point right here, where I think I'm gonna be protected. Uh, and where I've caught some fish. So hopefully uh, hopefully we'll be able to keep going and get some more fish in the boat. Fish at this spot, 
perfect hook set, got the right hook size. It's definitely the biggest one I've caught so far. Let's get a measurement on him. About 16 and a half inches. That's a nice healthy blue cat. That feels like a turtle bite over there. It just bam, bam. Something just sitting on the bottom, just grabbing at it. Here's something here. Another very solid hook set. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. And that's that double action hook. I'm going to put it right here. So maybe I see it on that camera. See that double action hook. And if I can find an octopus one, I'll show those side by side. Just over 15 inches. Here, here is that octopus circle hook. Okay. I'll try to show these side by side when I edit it. If I ever get them in the boat at the same time, I'll, I'll try to put them side by side here. But that's that octopus, and you can see, I don't know if that'll show, but it's slightly offset. Whereas that double action, it comes down a little bit more and comes back. So that's kind of what I'm experimenting with. Again, as I said earlier, but the experiment really is, with the octopus circles, I feel like I gotta go down to three or four to get consistent hookups. Um, and I have caught big fish with the, that size hook, so I'm comfortable that I can catch a decent size fish. Um, I'm going to see if I can, with those double actions, maybe I can get to a 5 aught and still catch the small fish. So, of course, i got to put a 5 aught on somewhere. So one of these poles I need to put a 5 aught on. Uh, but this experimentation will be going on for a while. There we go, hooked up. Feels like it's pretty good fish. These are those instances that I wish I had gotten the net out, but I'm superstitious. I feel like if I get the net out, I won't catch any fish. But then I hook into a good fish and I need the net, and it's not overly accessible here. Oh, this is what being organized helps. Okay, everybody, so uh, that was a first for me. Uh, I was out there for so long that the battery on my GoPro died and the uh, memory card on uh, my overhead camera um, got full. So I actually wasn't able to capture the entire trip, but uh, I'm pretty sure I got most of it. Uh, it was a good day, fishing-wise. Uh, probably close to about 20 fish uh, that we ended up putting in the boat. Um, you know, my brother was with me out there, and we kind of split up at first, trying a, a few different spots, prospecting. Um, I finally found uh, a, a point uh, that was producing, called him over, he tied up next to me, and we just fanned out, um, and we, we caught fish after fish. Um, caught a lot of brush piles and a bunch of uh, snags as well. Um, in fact, the last fish of the day, we had to go get, because he was so tangled up in a brush pile. Um, it was, on, it was on one of my rods, and he drove out there and just had to end up pulling the whole brush pile up uh, to pull that fish out. I wish I could have got that on camera because it was pretty funny. Um, other than that, uh, it was a good day. Like I said, um, 
you know, the, the, that pressure foam in the front about to come through, it actually cleared off, you know, for a overcast, muggy, rainy, uh, hot day. Um, it turned out to be quite nice at the end. Um, it was very windy, and as soon as, we, um, as soon as we actually left that spot and came around the point, boy, the wind just, uh, just started plowing us. Um, you know, my brother's boat, he's got a little flat bottom skiff, um, so I just, you know, kind of brought the motor up a little bit and just kind of plowed through the waves and uh, tried to leave um, as much calm water behind me as I could, and he, he followed me right in, and, and we got up and out of there. So, like I said, it was a good day. So two fishing trips uh, on this holiday weekend. Um, you know, this will be an interesting video. Again, I'm, I'm still getting the hang of filming on the big boat. I had wanted to put this camera that I'm talking to you up on the front of my boat, up on the rail, pointing back at me. Um, but it just, it rained on and off all day. And I, I just, I don't have something right now that can protect this camera. So I put it up under the canopy. So it is what it is. I did the best I could and I'll, I'll get better at it, I'm sure, as I go. So, um, but that's it. You know, hook experiments were good. Um, really focused on four offs today. Those double lots, or I'm sorry, the double action hooks um, worked really well. Um, so the next time I go out in the kayak, I'll definitely be trying to play around with some of those hooks. Um, in fact, I'll swap out all the uh, octopus circles with those double actions and, you know, three, four, five. I'll kind of have all, all three of those out and see uh, kind of hookups I get. So looking forward to doing that maybe, maybe next weekend, uh, depending on what the weather does. And um, until then, we will talk to you. Oh, baby, too much.